my name is Ilsa and I'm here today to talk about the books that I read in June. First up, earlier this month, I finished reading Deadly Curiosities by Gail Z. Martin. Um, it was the first of her books that I've heard of, um, but she does write a lot of fantasy novels as well. I have a stack of them over here in the corner that I'll hopefully read more of this summer that have been recommended to me by my dad. I think we might have to swap books at some point of hers that we own. Um, I don't want to say too much about this now because I will do a review of it very soon. Um, but this book is an urban fantasy. It's set in Charleston, modern day Charleston in the United States. Um, and it's about a girl called Cassidy. She works in an antique shop with her friend Teague and each of them have special powers. Cassidy is a psychometric which means that when she touches things she can see their past, if they've had a particularly violent past. Um, or exciting, things like that. Um, and they use the antique shop to collect up powerful objects that they don't want to have in circulation around humans. They also have a friend, um, they have a friend called Soren, who is a vampire, who comes into town to help them out because there's some really bad stuff going on. There's been a lot of murders in the town, and they know that it's linked to some interesting objects that have been coming into circulation from somewhere. So they are trying to figure out what's going on and how to stop it, and stop it soon before anyone gets hurt. This was a really good urban fantasy. It was very creepy. It took me a very long time to read because I do most of my reading in bed and I could not make myself read this one after dark when I had the lights off. It was just too creepy. So I will review this one very soon. I highly recommend it. The next book that I read in June, I do not have here, that was yeah, Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. I have reviewed that one already, I will post a link to it somewhere. It's a sci-fi novel about an artificial intelligence who used to be a spaceship and have all these ancillaries, these other bodies that she could use and control and like see through her eyes, do stuff with them. Like She was them, she was all of them at once, at the same time as also being a spaceship. But now, in the present, she is just one body, and she is trying to get revenge on the people that were responsible for her losing her spaceship, losing everything else that was going on. And the story is told in the present with what's going on now, and also with her when she had everything else in the past, in the build-up to that betrayal and what led to the circumstances of where she is now. That was a really good book. I'm getting way more into reading science fiction now. I really want to read the sequel to it, which is out, and I believe the third and final book in its trilogy comes out later this year as well, um, so I'm very excited to read all of those. Another book I read, which I also don't have because I left it in a hostel, didn't want to carry it around with me, was Natural Causes by James Oswald. That is a crime novel. It's set in Scotland, specifically set in Edinburgh, which I love to read about. I went to Edinburgh for university, and I love reading books that are set in the city. It was really, I really enjoy hearing the characters moving through places where I can think I know exactly where that is. And yes, the author, sh if it's a good author, they should be able to build up a picture of the city for you reading it. But I just think it's so much better for me to be able to picture it precisely where they are. I love that, and seeing them going around familiar places. But anyway, it's a crime novel about a police detective inspector, I believe he is. Um, and. He is recently promoted to the job, and he is working a case where p people have uncovered a dead body that's been there for at least 60 years. So it's very much a cold case. No one's putting much focus on that case because there are some high-profile murders going on in the city at the same time. And then also he's dealing with the loss of his grandmother. And I really liked how the different stories intersected. Those are my favourite things in crime novels when they maybe have multiple things going on and as you go through you know they're going to tie together but I like seeing how they tie together and things. So Natural Causes by James Oswald is another one where I'm definitely going to read the sequel when I can find it. The fourth book that I finished reading this month was Leave Your Mark by Elisa Licht. This one is a bit different. It's a sort of memoir and a self-help book type thing about getting your dream job. It's written by Elisa who is the head of PR for DKNY, or Donna Karen, or possibly both, I'm not sure. Um, she has a massive following on Twitter, that's really where she got well known, and she is sharing her tips 
on how to break into the industry. So obviously she is focusing on getting into fashion and PR, but I believe it's, it applies well to a lot of different things. And as I'm looking for a job just now, that is, I, I found it very useful. She has some great tips for CVs and cover letters and interviews. So that one is really good. I may or may not post a review for it. I'm not really sure. She also has advice in it for building your personal brand, like creating your Twitter account and your Tumblr and all your social media outlets to make a, a collated picture of yourself as though you're your own PR person, as though you are a brand, which is interesting. I may have to reread some of that later. It was a bit confusing to get my head around. I'm not sure how relevant that is for me, but a lot of the stuff in it was really good. Um, so yeah, um, it's weird not having many books told for this. Anyway, those are the books that I read in June. What about you? Have you read any of those that you would like to talk about? Um, what did you read? I will talk to you soon. Bye!